Hello my dear brothers and sisters, Mu'minin and Mu'minat, respected viewers from all around the world. Welcome to land of Hussein. Welcome to land of Abu Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Welcome to peace of paradise. Welcome to Karbala. This is Karbala. Tonight is night of Arba'een. Tonight is night of Arba'een and Karbala is calling all the Mu'mineen and Mu'minat from all around the world to come here and assist Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Answer Imam Hussein's call for assistance. Answer Imam Hussein's call for assistance in the day of Ashura. People are coming to Karbala from all around the world just to say one thing. Labbayka ya Hussein. Labbayka ya Hussein. Labbayka ya Hussein. Oh Hussein, here we are. Here we are. Here we are ready to assist you. Here we are ready to obey you. To obey whatever you say. And we are at your service. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Karbala. Welcome to land of love. To land of purity. To land of everything is beautiful right here everything is perfect right here the spirituality the perfection which is found here in Karbala is never ever found anywhere else so let's say a humble salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam at the beginning of this live Ziyara show so everyone repeat these beautiful words with me let's say salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليك يا ابن رسول الله السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة الزهراء السلام عليك وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتك السلام على الحسين السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين my dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers from all around the world, this was our humble salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Now, let's say salam to his loyal brother, to his perfect brother, Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Assalamu alayka ya Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas. Assalamu alayka ya Qamar al-Ashirah. Oh Abbas. You are moon of Hashemi tribe. You are the most loyal brother who have ever lived on the face of earth. You were so, you respected your brother, Imam Hussein alayhi salam. You never called him, oh brother. You never called him brother. You always were calling him, oh my master, my Imam, Mawlai. You're so great. You're so polite, Abbas. Assalamu alayka ya Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas. Assalamu alayka ayyuha al-Abdu al-Salih. Al-Muti'u lillahi wa li rasoolihi wa li amir al-Mu'mineen wa al-Hasani wa al-Hussein. Assalamu alayka wa ala ummika, umm al-Bani. Assalamu alayka wa ala ikhwatika al-Mustashhadeen bayna yaday Abba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. But dear brothers and sisters, this was our humble salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abba al Abbas alayhi salam. Let's have a break. Watch some beautiful footages from Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abba al Abbas alayhi salam and the atmosphere of Karbala. And after that, inshallah, we're going to be back again and you will see next to me a dear guest a special guest inshallah we're going to have a special guest so let's have this break and after that we will 
be with you again with a special guest. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, Mu'minin and Mu'minat, respected viewers from all around the world, tonight we have a special guest. We have a brother coming a long distance to Karbala to show his life, to show his love towards Imam Hussein alayhi salam and start a new life. My brother Niels from Germany. I'm not going to speak more, so I'm going to ask him to introduce himself inshallah and tell us how did he get familiar with Islam and did how did he convert it into Islam inshallah and the next questions that are going to be asked from him hello my brother Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Very welcome good. to Karbala thank you welcome to land of Hussein welcome to land of love thank welcome to peace of paradise <laughs> here is a piece of paradise Definitely. tell me how did you get familiar with Islam and how did you convert it into Islam well I started to get to know Islam because all my life well let's say since I'm young I started to have Muslim friends um, 
And three years ago, I started to work for refugees who came to Germany. So I've been uh, around Muslims a lot, but I really started to find out about Islam uh, after I met the uh, Iraqi family. They come from Basra. So they came to Germany three years ago, and I've become really close to them. So after getting to know their culture and how they live, I started to have interest in, in the religion. And since they're Shia, I, I want to find out about what is it about this. Great. And what made you to come to Karbala? And how did you come to Karbala? Can you just tell me a little bit about your, your experience of yes. all this way? How did you start it? How did you think, thought that, okay, I have to come to Karbala? And what happened to you? Okay. Well, the first time I went to a mosque was about almost one year ago. So, uh, after trying to read the Quran and finding out about what, what is Shia, what does it mean, um, friends told me about Karbala and Imam Hussein and Imam Ali. So, I, I was thinking, why shouldn't I see it myself? So, um, yes, I decided about a few months ago to try it out, to do, go this trip. And, yeah, I... I came here last uh, yeah. week. Tell me, how did you come to Karbala? Did you, uh, did, did you come by car or no, no you no. walked? Uh, I walked. So I came with plane From one Baghdad week ago. From to Karbala? No, no. Um, my flight was to Baghdad and then I took the bus to Samara. Uh -huh. And after Samara, I went to Najaf. Also with the bus and then I started to walk. Oh, you saw from Najaf to Karbala? Exactly. And how was that? Oh, it was... Unbelievable. So I started to walk at night and uh, I was just walking, you know. I, I didn't think about anything, but I got a really unbelievable feeling doing this. And after I, I checked a couple of times, for 39 hours I, I was uh, not sleeping. I was walking non-stop, I didn't feel anything, no tiredness, I only felt really powerful. And uh, I never had an experience like this. Have you ever like experienced such an experience before no, in Germany? No, 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 never. Have you ever never. seen such a gathering, such a huge number of people no, walking I, towards a single point and a very pure aim and goal? Have you ever seen something like never. this before? First thing, I, I never seen people like Iraqis so nice, giving so much for nothing. Everywhere you get free food, you get. Uh, treated like like a king and you get place to sleep uh, he has so much positive energy mashallah. I've seen this nowhere in my life before. Mashallah, mashallah. and you said that you just walked for 39 hours non-stop yes. yes. only walking did you get tired well at the end uh, I had to sleep it's not that I wanted I didn't feel tired but my body of course couldn't take it anymore so the next chance I got I, I just took it. I, I just uh, found one of the tents and and slept, but not even long, maybe five Do hours. Do you have any idea how you did that? Well... Can you believe it? I can't believe it. it. It comes only from God, from Allah. He gave me this power. Oh my God. It's the only explanation I can give. That's so pure. That's so perfect. Yes. May Almighty God have blessings on you and have mercy on you. Now, I think that you would like to take your Shahada. Of course. Don't you? Of course. Have you ever taken your Shahada or not? No. Not this is yet. the first time you're going to take Shahada. My first time. And you are converting to Islam, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, very good. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Inshallah. inshallah. Now, I'm going to read the Arabic word. You repeat after me. Okay. And after that, I'm going to translate it into English so okay. you know what the word means. Very good. Okay, what the sentence means, inshallah. Inshallah, okay. okay. First, we say. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أشهد أن أن لا إله لا إله إلا الله إلا الله and this sentence means I bear witness I believe that it is only Almighty God and there is no God except Allah okay okay it is only Almighty God no God except Almighty God, Allah. I understand. After that, we say, Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. 
محمدا محمدا رسول الله رسول الله and this sentence means I bear witness that Muhammad, Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, okay. is God's servant and his messenger. Okay. This is the meaning of this second sentence. And the third sentence, which is important to be Shia, is like this. Ashhadu anna aliyan waliyullah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Aliyan. Aliyan. Waliyullah. Waliyullah. I bear witness that Amir al muminin commander of faithful, okay. is successor of Holy Prophet Muhammad as and is God's caliph on earth. And he is a master. Okay? okay? This is the meaning. And of course, after Amir al muminin commander of faithful, we have 11 masters from the sons and children of Amir al muminin Ali Ali Sam. Ashhadu Ashhadu Anna Anna Aulada 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 Amir al Mu'minin Amir al How to say Amir Amir al Mu'minin Al Mu'minin Aliyun Aliyun Alayhi al Salam Alayhi al Salam Hujajullah 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 And here you say I bear witness that the sons of Amir al muminin Ali alayhi salam, okay. his children are all masters and are all guiders of, uh, who guide human being and they are sent by Almighty God. Now, you are converted to Shia. Now, you are a Shia brother, Shia Muslim. You are here in Karbala and all the world are, just come next to me, all the world is witnessing this great, precious, beautiful moment. Okay. Another follower of Ahlul Bayt is coming in Karbala and shouting, calling his faith, his faith to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. May Almighty have mercy on you. And I pray for you to be succeed, inshallah, in all your life. And don't forget, as long as you are a Shia Muslim, You've got a heavy duty on your shoulders. I know that. To be peaceful, okay. to be respectful to others, and to obey the orders of Almighty God and Ahlul Bayt, inshallah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you very Just much. Just stay here with me. Thank you very My much. dear brothers and sisters, I'm so glad to serve all of you, dear brothers and sisters, dear Mu'minin and Mu'minat all around the world from here, Karbala. I wasn't thinking that maybe one night I will host a friend from Germany who comes to Karbala and takes his shahada. This is a great honor for me that Alhamdulillah, thanks to Almighty God, that God helped us and granted us this opportunity to Read the idea of Ahlul Bayt, expand the idea of Ahlul Bayt and teachings of Ahlul Bayt all around the world. Inshallah, all of us be followers of Ahlul Bayt and soldiers for Imam of our time. May Almighty God hasten his appearance. Inshallah. My dear brothers and sisters, let's have a short break and inshallah, we will be back again. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Thank you so much. Brother. Thank you so much.
But dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers, tonight is such a great night. You know, Arba'in and the night of Arba'in, which we are in right now, has got a great message through all, to all the humanity. All these people who are coming to Karbala, all they are trying to say one thing, that Imam Hussein alayhi salam, as a representative of right, is still alive. Imam Hussein, as the representative of right and truthfulness, is still alive. And Yazid, Muawiyah, and those oppressors never last throughout history. History proves that always right wins. This is what we see right here in Karbala. Karbala al Hussein. Hussein is winning. Not only for one or two or three years, not only for one or two decades, not only for one or two or three centuries, for 14 centuries, Hussein is the winner. Haq right is winning, and this is the idea of Islam. This is the message of Islam. And one day, one day, by the appearance of Imam of our time, we will see that right Islam, peaceful, and peace and justice will win over all the oppressors and tyrants who are ruling the earth. This is this is not going to be far. This is so close to us, inshallah. If we all promise to be true followers of Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them. If we try to obey 100% to the orders of Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them, then it will be the time of reappearance of Imam of our time, insha'Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, Karbala is so crowded. Lots of people are here in Karbala. Millions of hearts are beating for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Such a great energy, such a pure and perfect energy is spreading all through the atmosphere of Karbala. I only would like to pray one pray. Of course, after praying for reappearance of Imam of our time, I would like to pray one pray for all of you, for all the brothers and sisters, for all the mu'minin and mu'minat. I would like to ask Almighty God to help all those who would like to come to Karbala to grant them this opportunity and to help them to be able to come to Karbala as soon as possible. Believe me, believe me, if you haven't ever been in Karbala, test it only one time. Then you're not going to live without Karbala. You're not going to forget Karbala at all. Every year, your heart We'll beat, we'll beat faster and faster when it comes close to Arba'in. You can't stand at your home. You will find a way to come to Karbala and say salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam personally. Karbala is a miracle. It's a live miracle. I'm not lying if I say Karbala is a live miracle. This is what we are seeing right here. Where can you find such a huge gathering, human gathering, peaceful gathering in one place for one purpose? Nowhere. Karbala is full of energy. It's full of perfection. And that's not because, that's not only, it is because Imam Hussein's sacrifice for Almighty God. Imam Hussein 
who sacrificed whatever he had. His brother, his grand, his older son, Ali Akbar, his infant, Ali Asghar, his companions, Habib ibn Mazahir, Joe, all those pure souls who sacrificed themselves here in Karbala and after all his family his sister Zainab do we know who Zainab is? Zainab is the great is the greatest messenger of Karbala she carried the message of Karbala and shouted it and cried it throughout history, entire history. And now, if we're here, if we're gathering in Karbala, if we're coming together, it's only because of Zainab. When they are back from Sham, from Syria, to Karbala, to bury the sacred hands to bury those sacred hands next to the bodies. Now all these mu'minin and mu'minat who are coming here, they are saying one thing. I can hear them. You also can hear them. They are all shouting, crying by their loudest voice. لبيك يا حسين لبيك يا حسين لبيك يا حسين Oh Hussein, here we are Here we are to help you Our souls, our bodies, our wealth, whatever we have It is nothing We sacrifice it for you Because you sacrificed whatever you had For Almighty God For Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him Karbala is a land of heaven, peace of heaven. Why? You may ask why Karbala is peace of heaven? Because all the perfection is here. All the great things are here. All the sacred souls come here to visit Holy Shuala Bimam Hussein alayhi salam. All the prophets, <coughs> all the prophets, all the perfect people come from all around the world to Karbala to visit Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm so proud to be here and serve you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Don't forget to pray for us. I will also pray for you. It's my honor. Thank you. Have a great time. Goodbye.